Hi everyone, this is Laura from Watch Laura So. So this is what the uh, table runner for the Ocean Beach Runner. And it's super pretty, super colorful, and perfect for a fish lover. We're back and we're getting ready to quilt the Ocean Beach Table Runner. So this will be a lot of fun. I'm going to use the same uh, uh, feathering that is kind of a spineless. I thought about making waves and putting waves in here. That's a possibility, but I think that... I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. No, I think I'll stick with the plan. Um, I, I thought about making waves. The problem with waves sometimes is that you can actually make the entire thing kind of wavy. And so it won't lay down correctly. We're going to use some light blue thread rather than the light gray, simply because there's so much blue in here. Uh, you can see the yellow and the orange in here, but the blue, light blue will look fine against the orange and the, also the yellow. Uh, being where they are on the color wheel, it will work out just fine. And uh, a lot of the rest of it is blue. So uh, I'm going to use the light blue. I think it'll look great. White on the bottom. It's a white backing. So here we go. I'm going to try the camera the way it is. It, I know it's sitting just a little bit low. I'm going to try and fix that in the future. So I'll see you as uh, as I'm quilting. All right. I've dropped my... Did I drop my feed dogs? I did not drop my feed dogs. So that's really important. It reduces the drag. You can quilt with feed dogs up. Like sometimes people have sewing machines that don't drop the feed dogs. You can still do free motion quilt because I have a sewing machine that does not drop the feed dogs and I can sew. I can quilt. So uh, maybe I'll show that someday. But it's nicer if it does drop. Makes it easier. Uh, less headache on your arms. It, uh, yeah, it's, it makes it a little bit more smooth. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. I'm going to drop this down just so it's nicer and prettier for you. I have dropped my, uh, my stitch length to zero and I'm ready to get started. Oh, I just remembered. I, I, on my machine, I do adjust for the tension and, oops, and I definitely drop the foot pressure. I don't want the foot pressure as heavy on it. All right, here we go. Did you see what just happened? See what happens when I do stuff like that? All right. I got to drop this down and my needle was not down. So if you have the opportunity to put a needle up or needle down on your sewing machine, when I'm free motion quilting, I always have it down. So it was not down and I was able to move the whole fabric, which was not good. I have a pen here. <laughs> I should have removed that. Hey, here we go.
so lucky. Do you know what just happened? My hand got right against that needle. I am so lucky. I, I, because you are, your hands are really close. And so, uh, I just put it a little bit too close and I felt it go beside my finger. bobbin thread I misjudged it I thought I could get over here and so I misjudged it but it's not in a bad location so I'm just going to double over it take this one out and it'll be all right I'm going to actually raise up everything get a long lead so I can tuck it all right here we go uh, ouch that today most days I never have a problem but today actually this whole week has been like that do you ever have weeks like that where it's like oh you just have one thing after another after another that has been my week this week Because this doesn't have a border on it, I am coming awfully close to the edge. I want to keep it one quarter inch away from the edge, but and it a little bit more if I can. Uh, sometimes I have a tendency, just the way I do things, I have a tendency to go a little bit uh, toward the edge. And so I, I have to work pretty hard in my head to say, no, don't go there. No, don't go there. No, don't go there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish up this table runner. I'll see you later and hopefully be able to show you the table runner um, with the binding on it. And I hope that you have a great day.